there's only been one way that I go into anything, and that's 100% full speed ahead. It doesn't work out. Eh, I tried, but if I get it, great. I earned it. So yes, I jumped up in here, all the things I just love, the both feet, the shop, the family, your friends. I wanted to be a part of it, part of all of it, and that means that means the good and the bad. Your kids are easy to love, both of them. <laughs> Me and Vernon are more than cool. And you know you got your little ways. You ain't half bad. <laughs> I just want to embrace you and bring everything good in me to the table. But if you don't want me at your table, tell me to get up and get my ass going down the road. If I'm wasting your time or you're wasting mine, just say so. And if that's too direct for you, don't, don't say a word. Just don't stop me when I decide that it's time to leave. Mom, guess what? The baby said my name. The mom said mom. She did not. She said mine. Oh, my. You're such a liar. You didn't even hear. I didn't hear say mine. You too. She uh, did not. Uh, uh, that's it. <sighs> you both are turning your over tonight. But, Mother, I can't go to bed at the same time as Miles. He's just a child and I'm a teenager. Okay, barely. <laughs> Seems like I'm straddling the doorway. 
then maybe it's just that before I give up my rent control department across the street from a metro station, I need something from you. Something beyond the mixed signals and the cold shoulder that you've been giving me recently, but you won't even talk about it. So much is happening. And has happened. I'm just trying to focus on the children right now, especially this time of year. I want everything to be perfect for them. And they shouldn't have to suffer because of my need to find myself. I know how much you enjoy your guilt, but they don't appear to be suffering to Besides, what does any of this have to do with you keeping me at a distance? I guess I'm just self-conscious that they will see something or hear something they're not ready for. You may be me too best with them. I mean, you have been divorced three years. I'm still not sure how much they know or understand. They know that their dad has a new baby and a new wife, a new life. They know things can never go back to being the way they were. Do you? They understand that I am here with you now, and quite frankly, I'm pretty sure they know why. Give them credit, they are both bright kids. Mm -hmm. Right, I know what I saw. Okay. They were in here, both sitting on the couch, in the dark, and they were my whole life maybe falling out from under me. And I want cozy and comfortable and familiar right now. What's wrong with that? I need something to hold on to. Hold on to me. I won't let you go. No wonder if you start a little trap. You've been free and single all these years. What if it gets to be too much? Then I hold on to you. That's the whole point. Why do you keep throwing up so many obstacles? It's like you want me to leave so you can have your old life down. Is that it? You want to sit here with the kids and have your ex-husband come by every other day and you can pretend like you got your old life back and nothing has changed? I don't understand. No, I don't. But if you intend for that to be your security blanket, if you want to crawl back into that no rock ball painting with Santa, Snow, some holly, your ex-husband, and a wreath on the door, just say so. Be honest about it. Instead of trying to accuse me or provoke me to leave so that you can say that we were never right in the first place because you know that's a lie. I am just under a lot of stress right now. And I am scared.